What's up guys, today I'm going to be demoing a 3D snake game I developed. The idea for this game originated when I ported a terminal based snake game that I had created previously to DirectX in 3D. This game had 3D graphics but was still confined to a 2D plane, and I thought, why not give full freedom to the player to hunt treats in all three dimensions? And thus, the ultimate 3D snake was born. I created this game using C++ with DirectX, and it took me about a month of development. I never got around to adding sound to the game, so the background music has been added just for this demo. A real tutorial would strongly benefit the game, but for now, all the rules and controls are detailed in a somewhat lengthy instructional manual. There are also a number of game options to choose from, such as reversing pitch control, selecting viewing angle, and changing the desired control set, which I will detail in just a moment. There is also an option to quit, and an option to view the game credits. When starting the game, you must first choose a difficulty, and then you are thrown into an open 3D world. As with the traditional versions of Snake, you must avoid crashing into the walls, as well as yourself, in an effort to collect as many psychedelic rainbow apple jewels as possible. A level is complete once you collect the requisite number of psychedelic rainbow apple jewels, and you beat the game once you complete the final level of your current difficulty. There are three significantly increasing levels of difficulty to choose from, as gameplay gets faster and more responsive. Hard is especially difficult as your progress in each level is reset following each death. The novice control set provides very intuitive control with WASD, pitching the snake up or down and turning left or right. Expert controls, on the other hand, still use WASD, but will roll left or right instead of turning. So in order to make a turn, you must first roll and then pitch up or down. Roll, pitch up. If you find the current controls or viewing angle do not sue you, you also have the ability to alter game options while in mid-game. There are also three different camera angles, a smart cam, a fixed cam, and a first-person cam, and you can cycle between them at any time by pressing C. Also, upon death or completion of a level, you have the option of viewing a replay of your previous work. During this time, you have full control over the flow of time, traveling backwards or forwards as fast as you desire as well as full control over the camera to view your replay. You also have the option of viewing the replay from first person, using the same camera as when you were playing. You even have the ability to activate the replay while still playing, travel back in time, and then start playing again from any point in the past. So, if you barely missed a psychedelic rainbow apple, or are just about to die, you can travel back in time and try again. Or you can catch the replay, just to see some sweet moves. That completes this demo, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and wish you great gaming.